Be a part of Going In Raw today at patreon.com forward slash Stephen Larson. Starting at $1 a month, you can enjoy Going In Raw ad-free, gain access to the daily 30-minute Going In Raw post-show, exclusive merchandise, and so much more. Support Going In Raw today. Click the link in the description. I feel like every travel vlog has to start out the same way. Me declaring what time it is, and it's usually earlier than what I usually do. I am getting on a plane to go to Orlando, to the Performance Center, where I will be trying out to jo join NXT. No, that's not gonna happen. If I, take, if I took one bump, I'd probably be out of commission for a while. 2K Games has arranged for uh, me and a bunch of other uh, YouTubers, uh, wrestling YouTubers and whatnot, uh, to come down and cap a bunch of footage of 2K19 and then uh, interview have some interview opportunities with wrestlers. Uh, typically, this is the kind of thing that me and Larson do together. Um, however, given that we were gone for a stretch late August, early this month, we figured doing that so soon after All In um, would probably be more of a sacrifice business-wise than we can afford to do right now. People are used to our daily recaps and missing out on, you know, three of them, uh, two or three of them, yeah, three of them, um, is not the best idea. And so reluctantly, uh, we drew straws and, and decided that I was the guy to go to Orlando. I don't like interviewing people. It scares me. I'm here, it's 10 a.m. and we're gonna go for about hopefully 45 minutes and then I'll leave. And I'm gonna leave. Oh, just 45 minutes? I don't know, we'll see. I'm to 11 o'clock on the dot. Yeah. And it's no, time to go. 10.45 on the dot. Well, I, I get so nervous getting like to the airport you on time. You shouldn't be nervous. I should. No, you shouldn't. To get to the airport on time? No, you should scary, man. It takes half hour, that's it. Oh. It's the morning of... <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Here we are. There's Grim. Uh, what's that? Where's your other hat? He decided to stay home. He kicked, he kicked me out of the house. We miss you. I know. I know. Reporting in from the Booze Cruise, and it's been confirmed. The Mixed Match Challenge is about to get a tad bit more splendiferous. And Afrolicious. As the gal with the voice that can sue the thousand feral cats. And the beater of biology. And we, we are going to win the Mixed Match Challenge and put the R-E-S-P-C-T. We're bringing the keys to be the match of the week. Yes, sir. And he's got the keys, and we're going to cruise on through. Woo! in the game so far, Tony? I can't even cash in. <laughs> <laughs> I love it though. It's <laughs> good. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Recording no, screens. it's good, dude. I played big head mode. Oh, how was the that? the Wyatt compound. Yeah. Insane. Oh, at the Wyatt? Oh, really? Yeah, cool was, stuff? Yeah, yeah, it was insane. I'll dude, do it again. Did you have a good day today? <laughs> no, it was horrible. James, no, it was terrible? <laughs> no, it was, it was actually, really it, was, it was good. What do you think of the game? Uh, my career was sick. Yeah, it was pretty fun, huh? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. cool. It's like a Spike Lee joint, but yeah. Spike Lee had nothing to do with it. Um, <laughs> I don't know the the, the hell. Did you try the hell in a cell? 
Uh, I just simmed it. I didn't actually play it. It was okay. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I mean, there's definitely some improvements. I'm an arcade guy, so like all the arcadey stuff is like, I'm like, oh, Zombie Triple H. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been really, really interesting walking around the Performance Center. Um, they did this amazing thing, sort of at the jump, where they basically put on like a mini, uh, sort of like a mini card for us. Uh, there was uh, the Mighty versus Street Profits, uh, Lacey Lane versus Lacey Evans, and the main event was Cassius Ono and Stacy Irvin Jr. Urs, I don't know his actual name, um, but apparently it was his first match. He's only been here for a little while, and uh, and it, he was very impressive. We didn't film any of it. They sort of were very, they they weren't like I don't think they wanted us filming that, <laughs> so n nobody really did. Um, I snuck a couple pictures just for Larson, not for public consumption. Um, but it was really cool to be there for all that, um, and uh, and the entire the cool thing was the entire NXT roster was where I'm at right now. They were like in this area over here, watching along and, and rooting on uh, the the participants. Um, so it was just it was super cool. Like they know how to butter us up seriously, um, and uh, and yeah, I've been able to go around. Uh, and as far as the game is concerned, like I kind of want to wait till it actually comes out to get my hands a bit more on it. We've had plenty of time, and I've played it a bunch. Um, but there are definite improvements. The one thing that they that they mentioned during the uh, during the little spiel about the game was how they want to bring um, a lot of fun back. So they have sort of like relatively superficial things, but nonetheless pretty fun things. Like the big head mode is here, and uh, there's like a zombie Triple H, which I think is from like a my career thing or my player thing. My player has an actual story with like a bunch of dialogue that was actually recorded from, I think they said like 26 or 46 superstars or something. And so there are definite improvements. There's still no uh, uh, woman's my player, um, which is kind of a bummer, but I, I mean, I understand that they're getting very specific with the story. It's sort of like a journey from the independent ranks up to the WWE. Um, and so it might be a bit more difficult to like completely change that for like a female superstar. I mean, that might not be an excuse, but I mean, that's, I can understand the reasoning, I guess, but it's still nonetheless a disappointment. Um, but uh, beyond that, like it's, it, it seems like a pretty big step up from last year, um, just in terms of, I don't know, I guess maybe it's longevity, maybe it's uh, sort of the, the aspects of it that's gonna keep, specifically what me and Larson do, coming back to it. A lot more customizations options, so that's a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, all in all, it's been absolutely a, a terrific day. And of course, I've been able to reconnect um, with a bunch of my old friendos that we get to see, of our old friendos that we get to see uh, every time we come back here. So um, it's pretty neat. I think it's it a pretty rad day. Where I think we're about to pack up and leave in a little bit. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here with Grim. Are you having a good day today, Grim? Dude, this is great. Isn't this, this is, like the coolest shit? This is Christmas Day times two. <laughs> right. <laughs> I had no idea that it was going to be the way it is. Right? Like, that's absolutely... Who have you interviewed so far? Um, uh, let's see. I talked to Carmella. Yeah. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura roasted me like a turkey. Good. And, um... I saw you doing a promo over there. Yeah, I was doing a promo for the Million Dollar Challenge. And I'm really bugging Matt Bloom to let me get in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm back. Plane didn't crash, so that's good. Only a little bit of turbulence here and there, but it is what it is. Uh, I watched a lot of Narcos on the way back. Almost demo season three. Two. Three. Two. Yeah, three. Anyways, I'm almost in my car. It was a hell of a trip. It was awesome seeing everybody in the 2K community. That was really fun. Had to step outside my comfort zone because Larson wasn't with me. And, uh, got me motivated to do more shit for the channel. Larson and I have been talking and talking and talking about doing some different things. Um, so hopefully we'll have time now to actually do them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy all the content from the trip, including this travel vlog. And uh, talk to you guys later.